Yo guys, what is going on and welcome back to a brand new WWE Supercard video episode number 227 and we are joined by one of the most loyal viewers we've had guys and it is the brand new sponsor, Captain. How you doing man? I'm fine. So, this is going to be quite an exciting video guys. We're going to be getting two brand new SummerSlam 17 cards and possibly, and I say this possibly because I don't want to jinx it, but you never know, King of the Ring could be promising. But we might just get quarter bumped, so let's not get our hopes up on that. But we do have a plan and pack, um, which we might not get anything from, but we're guaranteed... Oh, I said I was going to get two, didn't I? No, of course not. I'm guaranteed one card. I'm not, I might not get one from this pack, so sorry that I said I was going to get two this video. But we might with King of the Ring. But um, Captain, who do you think I'm going to get, man? Um... I haven't seen anyone really on the team get a SummerSlam card yet, so... Okay, so surely I should get one. SummerSlam, Luke Harper. I'll take it, I'll take it. Just my prediction. Any, anyone really is fine. So let's claim these rewards, guys. Army of 10, we only we beat them, like, I would say comfortably. As you guys know, a lot of us don't play our games if we're winning the battleground, so that's all good. Platinum pack, guys, number, I don't know how many, but uh, just give me an SS17. Um, no. nope. Well. Nope. Very disappointing. Ah, so we got Samoa Joe Ultimate. Brilliant. Xavier Woods Ultimate. Brilliant. And we get Neville WrestleMania 33. So, uh, yeah. Mm, brilliant rewards. Thank you very much, Supercard. Really, really appreciate that. But it's all good, guys. It's all good because we're still going to get one. We're still going to get one, so... We can uh, we can maybe get a bit more excited unless we get uh, a card before we go on pro. But uh, SummerSlam 17 single, 11,000 battle points, guys. If this is a female, I'm going to be really happy. If it's a female pro, <laughs> that'd be sick. Uh, Captain, who do you think I'm going to get, man? SummerSlam Seth Rollins. Wow. Wow. Okay. I think Flame's in here now. Flame, who do you think I'm going to get, man? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Alright, uh, so I just opened my platinum pack, got nothing, and now we're about to open uh, a uh, battle points pack. Guaranteed SS. Yeah. Who do you think I'm gonna get, Flame? Um, battle pack. Um, I, I, you're gonna open yours, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'm okay, I think you're gonna get. Um, I think you're gonna get Xavier Woods. I'm not gonna get a Summer Slam card. Alright. Flame, any predictions, man, before I open mine? Kalisto. The Mosquito. Brilliant. Kalisto. Alright, guys. Three, two, one. Oh, no! Oh god. Oh wait. No, 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 no. Damn, I got really excited there for like a split sec. I'm still really excited. Oh my god. I'm still really excited, but it's it's oh not it's Oh my god. Yeah. Who did you get? But it's not it's it's, it's it's not a female pro. I thought it was, but it's not. It's not. Uh, it's I only have 3, but it took me some time because man. It's two in a row. After thinking that uh yeah, I used to I ba I, I pulled Bailey guys for everyone who uh <laughs> on Discord, got Bailey, SummerSlam 17 Bailey, which is really cool. But uh, just because, yeah, I had her as a single in WrestleMania tier for so long. Um, my first reaction was, oh my god, Bailey. But then the, the, I thought that was a pro for a second, but it's not. But it's an awesome, it's an awesome female. It's another single. I'll definitely take that. Bailey, would have been a pro for me. Welcome to the catalog, Bailey. Absolutely sick. We're gonna. I'm I'm st I'm still get coming back from the fact I thought that was a female pro, but uh, in a row. We'll be oh who did you get Flame? Chris Jericho. <laughs> oh nice pro or not? No, but I'm happy. Yeah, definitely, dude. Okay, guys. So yeah, we're gonna get Alexa pro, and then we've got a uh, we've got Charlotte, we've got Sasha Banks, we've got Mickey James, and the new addition Bailey. What a great, uh, what a great pack that was to get a female. Even when I did my last pack opening battle points, I didn't get a single female in all of them. So that is absolutely amazing. Really happy about that, guys. I'm gonna bring you guys back uh, in the second part of this video for our King of the Ring rewards. Even if they're not, even if it's not a SummerSlam 17, I'll still bring you guys back. But let's all hope and pray that I can actually get one. 
Thank you, Flame. Thank you, Captain, for being part of the of the video. Both predictions wrong, though. <laughs> guys, I'll see you in just a bit. Yo, guys, welcome back to the episode. Episode 227, I believe. Uh, first part of this episode, hopefully you guys did enjoy it. The second part is going to be a bit more laid back. We've got a couple of things to talk about, actually, guys, before I forget. The first thing I want to talk about is... Um, I got I got my pool basically. I got my pool um and it's uh it's it's none other than 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 let's go on SummerSlam 17. Well, I didn't really get it, but we'll we'll we'll, we'll just we'll just say, we'll just say that um that it was an unexpected pool. But um <laughs> it's it's quite cool uh, because he's a, he's an awesome wrestler. I really like him and it's a single, so it's not obviously a card already pro, so as long as I don't get one of those. I'm happy, okay? Cesaro is my last pull. What that means is, guys, this um, Finn Balor that you guys see on the side of this uh, video is now gone. Goodbye, Finn Balor. And what we're going to do is we're going to now take a picture of, uh, of this Cesaro, guys. And he is now going to replace him as my last pull. So... Just, I just quickly took the screenshot, we'll add that later guys, or would you guys want to see it added right now so there's no blank space? I think we'll quickly add it, it won't, it won't take me long guys, we'll do that, we'll go there, and then all we need to do is go on XSplit, media file, and then we want to pick this picture, and obviously the, the sizing of it is always annoying to do, um, but it's, it's alright, it, it could be worse, <laughs> it could be worse, it's never perfect, but uh... I try my best. Okay, uh, it's a little, you know, you see, it's, it's always a bit distorted, but uh, as long as you guys can see who my last pull was, I'm happy with it. Um, obviously, it's not the correct image on it, because we've actually now changed the image, and it's not. But it, that image is a lot cooler than his uh, SummerSlam 17 one, so we'll leave it like that. But Cesaro is the new addition, obviously. Um, now, if we go on to our combinables, we'll quickly have a quick talk about what's going on here, guys, because I haven't really addressed it ever since we proed all of those other cards. So what we have got is uh, is this Carmella right here that I'm not sure if I want to get perfect pro or not. I'm not sure even if I want to pro it. The only kind of reason I want to pro it is catalogue reasons. But then on the other hand, uh, SummerSlam 17 Fusion is going to be coming out soon. It's always the same problem with Fusions, I feel. You you, you, you finally get a pro Fusion and then before you know it, the next, go the next ones are going to come out. So you never actually have time to get a to, to use or for a fusion to even be worth it, you know? My deck literally, like, my deck, if it was a, re um, a male, it wouldn't even fit in my deck, a pro fusion anymore. Only females, but is it really worth it? Only because she's only slightly better than my already pro WrestleMania 33 normal Carmella, so... I'm still debating over whether I should pro or not, and if I do, it's not worth not perfect proing her, which means getting the games played on her, but more importantly, we got this Alexa Bliss to get games on, so I've started just a little bit, we just just casually played a little bit of wild mode, but not, nothing uh, nothing great there yet, still not really advancing in that. Then we've uh, got Apollo Crews and Kurt Hawkins, so both this Apollo and Kurt Hawkins are both done, so we're just working on these now. And uh, and these Alexa, so these three cards, but uh, it's looking pretty good. So let's quickly go into uh, into team ring domination and claim the glorious one, Bobby Roode, because he did indeed win against Dolph Ziggler at Hell in a Cell, and that was a, a good a good decent match. There was nothing more to it. There you guys see Bobby Roode, and he is a pro. Um, so let's quickly go lock him in and check combine combine combinables again. But yeah, their, their match went on uh, second to last between the, the Jinder Nakamura and the Helena Cell Shane Owens match, kind of to bring the crowd back down, the kind of old Divas piss break match. Uh, and I'm not, I didn't, I didn't really like to see uh, Rude in that position. I know you, no one really wants to be in that position, but um, I didn't think that part was great. But uh, the match was okay. Uh, the ending was good. I enjoyed the ending, but. Overall, the match could have been a bit better, and we'll get maybe more into some Hell in a Cell guys in just a bit. But there's Bobby Roode, there's the other Bobby Roode as you can now see, so it's just gotten bigger, the list of pros we still have to do. That's three, and plus Alexa, four SummerSlam 17 pros to go. After we've just done Matt Hardy, Tyler Bate, Finn Balor, all of those guys, we still have a bunch more to go. So it's a really good position we find ourselves in. This Bobby Roode is nowhere near done, and obviously the other one we've just gotten. So I'm going to keep both Bobby Roods for... Uh, team Road to Glory and just chug them in because the... Yeah, we'll do that and then we'll... 
we'll literally just do that because uh, yeah and then hopefully we'll get the other ones done by then so King of the Ring, guys, this is this is it. There's not much gameplay. It's more showing you guys stuff right now, but that's also good. In 12 minutes, guys, we're going to play our first game of the semi-finals. The quarters went really, really easy. Everyone, uh, yeah, one, two, three, and four. We've all gone through. Um, let me just confirm that. Yeah, yeah, one, two, three, four, gone through. Uh, so... I'm going to be playing Spanky, who you guys know was at number one seed in my last video. He then dropped to two, and then we managed to catch him up, and I actually overtook him by a couple games. So he was now in three, but no matter what, if I was going to be third or second, it wouldn't have changed much. We're still going to face each other in the semis, and that is indeed what is going to happen. So... It's going to be very close, guys. It's going to be very close. Unfortunately, what he's done, and it's very clever, guys, but what it means is if our female tags match against his female tag, because he's also sandbagging it, but what he has, he's got two uncommon pros. So no matter what, he's going to win that, but we're going to have to, we're going to, have to count on our other um, cards here. So hopefully they can win, but it's, it's, going to be, it's going to be close, that's for sure, guys. It's absolutely going to be close. So um, I'm going to leave King of the Ring for now. Obviously, we'll, I'll be, there will be there will be rewards in uh, in this video because yeah, this video has been pretty lit so far with our with that Bailey pull and uh, we've got the platinum pack done even though we didn't get anything that then allowed us to open that pack where we got Bailey. We've just got Bobby Roode guys and then hopefully King of the Ring can give us something good and if it is set me bump for us then we'll just do our two WrestleMania cards and hope for someone good. We're gonna quickly go ahead and open this pack. Why not? Wait, I saved it for the video. Who knows? Kofi Kingston, WrestleMania, and 50 credits. Bagard, that is great. So what I want to kind of do, guys, is I really want to quickly go over Hell in a Cell, what I've enjoyed, and uh, and kind of just Hell in a Cell in general, because, well, not really, because we're not going to have that much time to go through it, but what we'll do is we'll get into a quick game of Wild. So the, um, the Hell in a Cell between the Usos and the New Day, I absolutely love that match. I'm glad it went on first because I was really hyped for the pay-per-view and then we just got into it with a fantastic match to start off with. So that was really, really awesome. Thoroughly enjoyed that match. Um, I know probably a lot of you guys did as well. Everyone probably. Um, the spots with the kendo sticks. Um, when, the, when Uso was, I think it was Jimmy, um, was stuck in the corner. It was just, it was great. There were so many good spots. It was good wrestling. It was good storytelling. I'm glad the Usos won the championships back. Um, hopefully that's it now with the, with like kind of hot potatoing this championship going back and forth. But it's just absolutely brilliant. I, I'm really happy with the result. I'm ha the match was just, even if the New Day would have won, the match was great. Um, and that's, that's it guys. There's not more I can tell because it, it was good. Obviously we could go, we could take it piece by piece but we don't have time for that and I'm going to skip a lot of matches guys I just want to quickly say that Randy Orton Rusev it was it was a decent match it, no matches on Hena and Helena Sal were bad that's why for me it was my favorite pay-per-view of 2017 and my probably my favorite pay-per-view I've watched in a long long time and the main the main point the main outcome is obviously Shane McMahon versus um versus Owens obviously but there's another great match in there that I wanted to talk about and that is the triple threat Baron Corbin AJ Styles versus uh, Ty Dillinger I really really enjoyed the match the finish was great um, I'm not even that disappointed that Baron Corbin won because it was good it was good it wasn't he didn't pin AJ for it hopefully this can elevate AJ and it back into maybe the main event picture go do something else and Baron Corbin can you know Baron Corbin was a great mid carder, so I think that was great. I'm really happy with that. And then obviously the main event, guys, what a main event it was. Owens, uh, Shane, they just destroyed each other. We're going to talk about the main talking points. So their fight on top of the Hell in a Cell was just amazing. At every moment, I was just, oh my God, is it going to, you know, it was just, it was great. It was a great, great match. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. And, um, and then, of course, you know, Shane climbs the Hell in a Cell to jump off of it on the announcer's table where Kevin Owens is and throughout this whole point, you know, I was like, okay, well, I actually predicted Shane McMahon. I would have gone every single prediction right, it, including the kickoff uh, match, which uh, obviously the, um, the Hype Bros didn't turn here, which was unfortunate, but I got every prediction right except obviously Shane McMahon winning. But when Shane... Um, 
what did Shane? Yeah, when when they both went through the table and then Shane did something and Shane was just like sitting there and waiting and waiting and I was getting a bit frustrated because I was like, pin him, just pin him instead of just waiting there, sitting there doing nothing. Oh my God, we you know just pin him. Um, and unfortunately, well he didn't. He looked up at the top and I was like, okay, at that second I was like, well. Shane's losing this, guys. He's gonna, it's gonna repeat the same spot against the Undertaker. He's gonna climb up. He's gonna jump off, and then Kevin Owens is just gonna roll out of uh, of the way, and uh, and that's gonna how that's that's how the match is gonna end. But um, that's pretty much how it happened, except when he jumped off, and uh, who, what ring announcer, what announcer, not sorry, not announcer, what commentator was it who said, where did Kevin Owens go? Because it was the stupidest. I think it was Tom Phillips, um, because like. You know, and we but we were all in Discord, and all of us pretty much at the same moment was like, "He got out of the way, you idiot!" And then obviously we we saw um we saw Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn turned heel, and um and obviously pulled Kevin Owens out of the way. A little bit of a botch pull because you can if you replay, you can see Kevin Owens is the one who kind of yeah. At no point do you see Sami Zayn actually pulling him or actually it's not really Sami Zayn getting him off there it's actually Kevin Owens but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna nitpick like that it was a great angle I loved it so much and they're finally using Sami Zayn he turned heel the oh, and then he got rid of all of them and shoved the ref to count that oh, and dragged Kevin Owens on it it was honestly great guys let me know what you think in the comments guys this video is gonna go on for a little bit because of that, I didn't really expect to go on that much about Hell in a Cell, but really a great pay-per-view. I give it 9 out of 10, and my favourite pay-per-view uh, this year so far. Bobby Roode is done. Road to Glory is done. We've got that Alexa. King of the Rings looking good. Battleground will start one soon, guys. All supercars looking really good as well. We've got a bunch of pros to work on, guys. An update's going to be coming soon. Um, we now we're just looking we're just looking for the next uh, the next the next uh, event card guys. Who is it going to be? Will it be Shane McMahon? Will it be maybe a Kevin Owens? Will it be a Sami Zayn? Who knows? Looking forward to it. But guys, there will be a last part to this video, and that will be whatever we do in King of the Ring rewards. I'm going to add one little thing in this video, guys, and this is a big spoiler for people who haven't watched Raw so far. I'm currently watching it. The ad break has just finished, and I'm going to get back to it because Kurt Angle's on it. But the shield has reunited. So I'll leave you guys on that bombshell. Drop a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next year. So then take care. And peace out. All right, guys, welcome back to the episode. And I've got some extremely good news. We made it, guys. We made it to the final. I have not disappointed you guys. We are going to be getting a SummerSlam 17 card, just like I said at the beginning of the video, when I kind of failed and said we're going to get two guaranteed SummerSlam 17 cards. Well, I was wrong, but now we've redeemed ourselves and we're going to get it. And we are joined by many people on the Discord. Captain, how you doing, man? I'm fine. He was yeah. also here like 10 seconds ago for you guys. Uh, Dylan is also here and, uh, and Light. So uh, they're going to drop some predictions on who they think I'm going to get. Start off with you, Light. Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy. Single. That'd be a single. But I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, Dylan. Cesaro. Cesaro. So if you guys don't know, I got a Cesaro. Or should I say Dylan got a Cesaro? <laughs> and um, that could be a pro. So that'd be sick. So Dylan's going Cesaro. Captain. Bailey. No, I knew. I, I already knew who they were going to say. But guys, if, we, if I get a Bailey... My goodness, guys, that'd be two Baileys in the in this same episode. That'd be absolutely crazy. But I'm going to quickly show you guys the contender brackets. So we made it through the quarterfinals in two games pretty easily. Onto the semifinals, where I thought it was going to be a very, very tough time. And, uh, and we managed to win in two games as well. So that was really cool. And then straight off into the finals we go. We lost the first game. And, uh, and then we kind of just gave up there because I wanted to get my rewards as soon as possible. So screw actually trying to get an extra WrestleMania card. But yeah, I want to quickly shout out to everyone in the King of the Ring, um, especially Spanky, congrats, cool guy, I watch your videos, keep up the great work. Um, awesome, man, I'm sorry for knocking you out in the semis, man. Uh, good luck in your future King of the Rings, and good luck to everyone else. Guys, one Summer Slam card, my god, if it's a female pro, if it's a female pro, Captain's probably going to smash something, he said, so I kind of want a female pro to see that. Perfect 19. 
<laughs> Alright, let's claim. Let's claim, guys. Let's do this. Three, two, one. I don't think that's good. Who'd you get? Oh no. Mm. Oh fucking no. Oh, I, I don't want to sound ungrateful, but fuck, that is disappointing. Who? Who is it? Did you, did you yes. I'm gonna go broken. It's I might, I might go broken. I don't want oh, this sound. This seems anticlimactic, guys. I'm sorry for everyone watching there. It was like, you stupid idiots. It's such a good card. Be excited. But we have just got him proed. We proed him last episode or two episodes ago. You know, guys, that's 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 the that's the that's the guys you don't want. That, that that's who you do not want to be pulling. You know, I'd have taken a a no way Jose, a Heath Slater, uh, any one of those. But uh, um, I will. I will take it and move on, guys. We're not not going to complain too much about that. We got Matt Hardy. It was whoever said Jeff. I would have much rather have gotten Jeff, but oh, it just wasn't to be. My luck has been really good. Yeah, to be okay. fair, guys, on Supercard these last couple yeah. weeks, months, I not. I'm really not going to complain too much. So Can I have to say something. Yes. That Matt Hardy hasn't been in an event yet, so he could get another pro. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, why be so just be this uh, disappointed in the rewards when he hasn't been in the event? It's a third. It's a third. You know that that's a number you never want to get because even if I do get a fourth, it's still a pro of someone I've already gotten proed, and it just doesn't really matter. And I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's not cool. But guys, it's it's not bad. It really isn't bad. Because it's still a SummerSlam 17 card. Um, Battleground is probably what we're looking to next. A very, very good deck, guys. Just a quick to show you guys there. But this has been a very long video, guys. We've already got one Bailey in it. We've done Platinum Packs. I got Bobby Roode from the Team Ring Nomination. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you to Captain for making an appearance in most of the video. Uh, Dylan and Light as well. Thank you guys for giving the predictions. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new around here. I'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video and maybe a stream. Take care, guys.